para sa usapang NBA Finals. Kasama natin ngayon ang sharp shooting basketball analyst na si Ren Ren Itwalo. Ren Ren, magandang gabi at welcome dito sa The Score. Magandang gabi sa inyo. Mm. So Ren Ren, alam mo, uh, ito nga, medyo naging tambakan nga yung first two games mm. ng Golden State. Talagang uh, it was a blowout. First two games for them. Pero ngayon naman sa Game 3, talagang they turned the tables itong Cleveland Cavaliers. Ano sa tingin mo ang naging number one adjustment ng Cavs? Well, sabi nga ni Coach Tyron Lue, they were just so aggressive at the, at the start. Okay. Yun lang naman ang kailangan gawin ng Cavs para matalo, na, matalo itong uh, Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. To be more aggressive in yep. offense and defensively. Yep. Lalo na pag, pag na-stop mo yung dalawang two top scorers na si... Stephen Clay. Ste uh, yeah, yes. Stephen Clay, the Smash Brothers. And of course, the th third guy na si, si Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of the third guy, wala yung third guy ng wala. Cleveland Cavaliers dito sa laban na to. Uh, matunog nga yung usapan na hindi maglalaro si Kevin Love. And it looks like napaganda pa ito mm. para sa Cleveland Cavaliers. Ano yung naging epekto, Ren Ren, uh, sa pagkawala ng Cleveland uh, ni Kevin Love sa Cleveland Cavaliers at nakatulong na maipanalo nila ang laban na to? Well, every time na when a player is down, if your teammate's down, someone has to step up. Yep. That's Tristan Thompson. Did okay. a pretty good job mm -hmm. earlier crashing the boards and mm -hmm. put getting those putbacks. Mm -hmm. So I think he scored double double 14 to what 12 rebounds. Mm -hmm. So malaking bagay para sa kanila yun. Yep. Besides from uh, Tristan Thompson stepping up, eto na nga nagpakita na kung baga present na itong si JR Smith. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Dahil syempre nung first two games natin talagang nasan siya, 'di ba? 8 points lang in Eight points games so 1 and 2 combined. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. as a as a shooter then mm -hmm. no, syempre uh, ganun din ang laro ni JR yes. Smith. Siyempre, nagkaroon siya ng slump, Games 1 and 2. Ano yung mga tingin mong paraan para nakabawi siya ngayon? Well, at first, he made his first shot, I think. Yeah. Uh, but uh, makikita mo, he was so aggressive going to the basket. He okay. has the skills. He has the skill okay. set to go to the basket to okay. J.R. Smith. Alam okay. natin, he can penetrate and he have pretty, he have, uh, pretty handles also okay. na kaya niya mag-finish left and right. Okay, so hindi lang importante para sa shooter ay eh yung, kumbaga, tira lang ng tira. Yes. Kumbaga, ibahin din niya yung Siyempre. kanyang laro. Tama. Eh, kamusta naman, Ren Ren, yung shooter sa kabilang panig? Ang Splash mm. Brothers, Stephen mm. Curry and Clay Thompson. Feeling mo ba nagparamdam na sila dito sa series? Because so far, ang average ni Curry in the first three games, 16 points. Mm -hmm. Clay Thompson naman, first three games, just 12 points. That's the beauty of Golden State Warriors. They can win games without those two scoring. But as long as those bench players, which is the Blur, Barbosa, Livingston, and uh, of, course, yeah, Igod uh, of course, Igodala, yes. who is a defensive player also, mm -hmm. Na magsistep up. Totoo First two games, sino ba yung top scorers who played well for the Warriors? It's Sean Livingston, came off the bench, scored 20 points. Mm -hmm. And Draymond Green, alam natin na kaya niya nung gawin talaga yun, who had 28 points. Mm -hmm. But yung dalawa, hindi pa talaga nung score. As, as you said, Anton, uh, they're, they're scoring parang... Under ano par. Under oh, par. Under par. Mm -hmm. Like, what, 16 points average yung si Steph Curry, mm -hmm. who's averaging 30 plus points in the regular season. Yep. So, Magkita natin yung defense ng Cleveland Cavaliers nakatuon sa dun sa dalawa. dalawa. Mm -hmm. And gumagana. Gumagana. At gumagana. Pero yun nga, nakaka na nakakalimutan nila sila Draymond Green and Sean Livingston pwedeng, gu pwedeng gumawa. Sila, sila Barbosa also. Mm -hmm. Now, this Game 3, like I said, they were so aggressive yep. from the start. Yes. Everybody binabantayan nila. Everybody Tama. was driving for the ball. Lahat na hawakan yung bola. They made a 9 series start. I think yep. tumaas pa yun. Totoo yan. Umabot so, pa sa 15 and 4. Oh. Exactly. So, gusto talaga nila kasi sabi ni Lebron James, it's a do or die for them. That's true. Pag naging 3 series yun, tapos kagad yung laban. Yes. So, Ren Ren, para sa'yo, no? So, since Game 1, si Sean Livingston ang nag-step up. Yes. Nung Game 2 naman si Draymond Green with mm -hmm. 28 points. Ngayon, subtly si Harrison Barnes, mm -hmm. pero hindi natin masyadong nakita yun. Mm -hmm. For Game 4, besides Steph and Clay. Sino yung isa pa sa tingin mo na pwedeng bumulusok? Well, I also I always believe Draymond Green make their lives easier. Okay. Siya yung glue guy, siya yung uh, So siya pa rin. Siya pa rin, Draymond okay. Green. But he only took 8 shots today. Mm. Exactly. They weren't mm. that aggressive. Totoo yan. I mean, ito si Steph Curry, 1 out of 6 first half, I think. Only 6 shots. Mm. He never Tama. like Hap, never happened na uh, 6 shots lang siya in uh, half time so dapat mga 10 to 12 shots na siya noon so he wasn't that aggressive yeah. di ba nakita nga natin na uh, parang <laughs> gusto sabihin ni Steve Kerr sa katabi niya 
Are you okay? Okay nga ba? Tama ba yung kinain mo kagabi? <laughs> gusto mo? <laughs> Baka si Steve Kerr gusto na nang pumasok pag jersey na lang. <laughs> Pero actually, sinabi ni Steph Curry after the game, it was all on me. Mm. Uh, sabi niya, kasalanan niya and he has to be better for mm. game number four. Now, speaking of game mm. number four, we have some streaks to look at. Ang Cavs at home, 7 and 0. Now 8 and 0 after winning game number 3. Uh-huh. Golden State now 0 and 4 mm-hmm. in game 3. But yes. now we're going to game number 4. Mm-hmm. Renren has the momentum shifted to Cleveland Cavalier at masasabi ba natin sila ang paborito papasok sa game number 4? Well, sa totoo lang, yung momentum, syempre yung confidence level ng mga players na yan, hindi mawawala yan in just one game. Mm-hmm. Nakita mga Cleveland Cavaliers blown out two games finals but they they were confident enough to bounce back in game 3 so backs against the wall atong golden state warriors subok na eh. i mean the character the attitude the the willingness to win hindi mo na mga question about kung kung kaya nila eh. they really can do it they did it in the yung totoong finals i mean Totoo, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, Mr. Conference uh, Finals. Uh, OKC, <laughs> they were down 1-3. Oh, Pero coming into Game 4, dadagdagan ko yung tanong ni Anton. Um, kasi kanina napansin ko medyo mabilis ang pace ng Cleveland Cavaliers yes. offense and defense. Tingin mo ba masusustain nila yun? yun. Masusustain ba nila? Kasi syempre, babawi din doon kung Golden oh. State eh. Masusustain ba ng Cavs? Kanino yan? bang laro yung ganun kabilis? Sa Golden State Warriors. Is that the... Natural nature of their game, atong Cleveland Cavaliers. Yun ang oh, uh, yun ang question. That's not their nature of Ito. play. Mm-hmm. Pero yun yung yun yun yung yun yung play ng ano? Yun yung uh, style of play ng Golden, ng, State. ng Golden State Warriors. So how how will they sustain it? Well, nakit Coach Tyron Lue and LeBron James na yung sagot. Yeah, they have to be motivated or extra motivated. I mean, to sustain that uh, level of play. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much, Renren, for your so insights. Pero yeah. wag ka muna umalis. Okay. Uh, may iba pa tayong usapan niya. <laughs> I-interrogate ka namin sa okay. iba pang topic. <laughs> okay. So, para naman talakayin ang Gilas lineup para sa Olympic Wildcard Qualifier. So, Renren, welcome mm. back, no? So, maganda nga yung pinakita ng ating national team. It is a sneak peek o kaya preview uh, para sa July Games. Mm-hmm. So, ano yung nakita mong magandang ginawa ng team natin. Siyempre, uh, maganda yung pinakita nila from first to third quarter okay. until the finish. But yung middle part ng fourth, medyo hinabol tayo ng, ano, ng Iran eh. Mm-hmm. Medyo nag-relax tayo. Yung mga lapses na ganun, tingin ko, mas kailangan natin mag-focus buong 40 minutes. Because uh, we can't afford to have that uh, mis- la- ano, mga lapses, Tama. mental lapses. Because mm-hmm. malalakas talaga yung magiging kalaban natin. Eh. So mm-hmm. every possession counts. Mm-hmm. Pero, once na, di ba, parang nababa ni Coach Tab si Andre Blatch sa bench. But when, nung bumalik na siya. Mm, nung fourth quarter. Nung fourth oh. quarter, latter part, dun, umangat ulit yung kalamangan natin. I want to talk about one of the biggest surprises kagabi mm. sa laro. The insertion to the starting lineup by Coach Tab Baldwin of Ryan mm. Reyes na hindi natin masyadong uh, napapanood yes. uh, on a national, uh, international mm. level playing for the national team. But he played well. Mm-hmm. 12 points and with Jeff Chan out with a groin injury, yes. uh, do you think Ryan Reyes showed that he deserves a spot on this team? Well, we all know uh, Ryan Reyes can play. He can play both ends of the floor, which is very important for uh, Gilas Pilipinas. He can really defend and he can shoot threes. Nakpakita niya yun, uh, yesterday against Iran that he can knock down those threes. If uh, Jeff Chan is not healthy, well, Ryan Reyes is a perfect fit for uh, Gilas Pilipinas. Does that make him the best shooter on the team? Kung Wala si Jeff Chan. Um, maybe, but uh, syempre, andyan pa rin sila Ray Parks that who can knock down also the three-pointers. Uh, syempre, kailangan uh, for international play, kailangan talaga natin mas maraming shooters. Everybody really can shoot that, but down to the biggest guy on the floor. Because yun ang labanan talaga mm-hmm. sa international. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang hirap pumasok inside. Uh, I mean, uh, if you're gonna lay up, lalaban tayo ng puro drive, uh, medyo magiging tagilid tayo. But if you have shooters from the outside, maluluwagan talaga. Luluwag talaga yung uh, depensa ng kalaban. Mm-hmm. So, ito nga, no? so, si Ryan Reyes, possible inclusion sa ating uh, 12-man lineup. Si Jeff Chan naman medyo questionable dahil meron nga groin siyang injury. groin injury. Mm-hmm. Pero, 
pwede naman ito daanin sa bilis sila Jason Castro, nila mm. L.A. Tenorio, and everybody else. Medyo mabilis din itong, pwede mo rin stretch for itong si RDO. Mm. So kung medyo meron kang kawalan ng shooters ren ren, no? Ito bang bilis? Makocompensate ba ng bilis? Papuntang international play? Uh, ano si tingin mo? Mabibilis din sila eh. Okay. Malalaki na mabibilis na. Tsaka, okay. uh, yung, kasi from my experience, ah, ang makikita mo talagang uh, magiging advantage natin if you have shooters okay. na who can really knock the, those uh, threes. Three points. Yeah, those points who can knock those. Parang the, yung confidence level mo, alam mo yung meron kang mahuhugot na magbibigay sa'yo na ito. So, Because we all know Jason can penetrate, Terence can penetrate, Ray Parks can penetrate. Siyempre, andan, andyan yung ano eh, pag-aaralan ka niyan. First game, yes, you can do that. But the second and third game, sure ako na masascout and masascout. Those mm-hmm. scouts and the other teams, magagaling talaga. So, kailangan pa rin talaga natin ng player na first option is to shoot. Mm-hmm. Oh, pwede yan, pwede, pwede. Yan. Panghabol natin oh. o pang... Uh, pang rally natin yes, mga ganyan. Uh, so kasi hindi natin maiiwasan na talagang uh, kailangan natin ng mga puntos na mabibilis. Tama. And clearly our go-to guy is Andre Blatch. Mm-hmm. 20 points, 11 rebounds, yes. 4 assists, but there was a portion mm-hmm. in the game last night nung linabas si Blatch. Yes. Doon naman nakahabol. Totoo. Ang Iran Renren, ano yung nakita mong problema na ginagawa ng Gilas during the time na nilabas si Blatch and how do you think we can fix those problems? Well, Number one, kasi pag nandun sa loob si, si Andre Blatch, madami siyang pinoprovide. He's so mm-hmm. versatile, versatile uh, big guy. Mm-hmm. He can bring down that basketball. Mm-hmm. He can post up. He can shoot from the outside. Mm-hmm. Block shots. He, can, he mm-hmm. protects the paint. Mm-hmm. So, ang dami mong pupunuhan. Okay. So, that one guy na si Andre Blatch, ang dami ginagawa for mm-hmm. Gilas Pilipinas. Okay. So, pag tinanggal mo siya, malaking sinipa, kawalan. Malaking kawalan. So talagang ganun yung naging effect niya talaga sa atin. Tama. So pag natang, pag nung inupo siya, doon naging advantage ang Iran who made their run na binabayan single digits yung kalamangan natin. Okay, bukod sa isang uh, big man itong si Andre, Andre Blatch, pag-usapan naman natin itong si June Mar Fajardo. Yes. So we first saw him noong 2013, noong mm-hmm. qualifying dito sa Pilipinas. Ngayon naman, three years later, Siyempre, nakita nga natin si June Mar sa pros, talagang humasa na, yes. mas na-fix na yung mga, mga turnilo na. Mm. How big of a factor itong magiging si June Mar Fajardo kapag labas ni Andre Blatch? You think, Ren Ren, can he do the things also na ginagawa ni Andre Blatch, given his maturity? Well, that will come, the, yung, yung teamwork and uh, yung uh, coaching ni Coach Tab Baldwin, how will they... Uh, they fill those gaps pag wala si Andre Blatch. Okay. I'm sure June Mar Fajardo is the best player in the league right now in, P- in the PBA. He's a two-time MVP at marami pang nakakuti na MVPs yan. Of course, Andre Blatch is a different story. He's, okay. he's an NBA, legit uh-huh. NBA player. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Medyo talagang kompleto. So, June Mar Fajardo, I, I, we all know he plays best. Of course, pag nasa loob siya, pag wala si Andre Blatch, kailangan natin ng uh, solid teamwork, mm-hmm. yung chemistry natin, yung fluidity natin, yes. kailangan talaga perfect if Andre Blotch is not there inside. Yeah. Ray Ray Parks Jr., mm-hmm. former UAP MVP, pumunta sa States, mm-hmm. naglaro sa NBA D-League. Yes. Ano yung nakita mong bago sa laro ni Ray Ray Parks? And what what type of role do you see him uh, taking in dito sa Gilas, Pilipinas? Well, if he's coming off the bench si Ray Ray, or starting, we ex- expect... Uh, na yung aggressiveness niya. He's he's ano, he's a young guy who can bring down that basketball and attack that basket the, the basket hard. So alam natin he's very athletic. So both ends of the floor, I think magandang complement diyan pag si Gabe Norwood umupo and Ray Ray Parks ipapasok mo. Kasi spark plug ka agad. I mean, di ba? Sabay sila ni Terence Romeo. So run and gun type of play na talaga tayo noon. So, talagang mabilisan na yun. Oo, oh, tama. So, speaking of Terrence Romeo, pinamanghanga tayo ni, uh, <laughs> ni bro, Terrence Romeo. <laughs> Mabansang bro. Oo, oh, nung, nung uh, last year. Pati na rin itong si Calvin Abueva kasi yes. syempre, they're impact players. Mm-hmm. So, ngayon, Ren Ren, coming in, do you think they will fill in the same role? Coming into this team, yung pinakita nilang ag- aggressiveness, yung scoring ability nila, will they be able to do the same compared to last year? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, but wala nang surprise against other other countries kasi nakita na yan silang dalawa. Mm-hmm. But they're more mature now. Okay. Itong si Tenes Romeo at si Calvin Abueva. Mm-hmm. 
Now, uh, just a couple of months away from the FIBA Olympic qualifier dito sa Manila, a lot of teams coming in, France, mm -hmm. Canada mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. Very Medyo exciting. <laughs> ano sa tingin mo na chance na ng ating kupunan na makipagsabayan sa mga teams na yun? Mm -hmm. Alam mo, pag ako tinunan mo ako sa chance, always tayo may chance. I mean, okay. like we played uh, for the Philippines. I'm very proud of that. Uh, if you ask me, malaking chance tayo. Of course, uh, right now, makikita natin, everybody's committed. Lahat nag-cooperate. Everybody's playing. Well, uh, sayang lang si Marshall Lasseter is out. down with the bronchitis ata. He's out. Well, pero everybody's there. Lahat nag-support. Uh, mas malaking chance natin yun. Pero as a fan, Ren Ren, <laughs> syempre, mga, marami mga NBA stars ang pupunta dito. Oh. As a fan, nanonood no, no, lang tayo ng basketball. Sino ang pinaka gusto mong makitang matchup? Uh, uh. Tony Parker and Terrence Rowe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ganda, ganda, ganda. I, I'd like to see Terrence break Tony Parker's yeah, that's true, that's true. Yep. Mm. Thank you so much to thank our you. sharpshooting legend, Ren Ren Thank you, Ren -Ren. We'll thank see you. you soon. Thank you, thank you. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.